If I sat before you today and gave you a big red button and said, here, if you press this button, you will get uploaded in this way. The sense of identity that you have lived with for quite a long time is gonna be gone. Would you press the button? Um, with the caveat, I have um, family. So I have children that want me to be physically present in their life and interact with them in a particular way. And they um, have a wife and um, personal friends. And there is a particular mode of interaction that I feel I'm not through yet. But apart from these responsibilities, and they're negotiable to some degree, I would press the button. But isn't this everything? This love you have for other humans, you, you can call it responsibility, but that connection, that's the ego death. Isn't that the thing we're really afraid of? It's not to just die, but to let go of the experience of love with other humans. This is not everything. Everything is everything, right? So, so there's so much more. And you could be lots of other things. You mm. could identify with lots of other things. You could be identifying with being Gaia, some kind of planetary control agent that emerges over all the activity of life on Earth. Mm. You could be uh, identifying with some hyper-Gaia that is the uh, concatenation of Gaia with uh, all the digital life and yeah. uh, digital minds. And so in this sense, there will be agents in all sorts of substrates and directions that all have their own goals. And when they're not sustainable, then these agents will cease to exist. Or when the agent feels that it's done with its own mission, it will cease to exist. In the same way as when you conclude a thought, the thought is going to wrap up and gives control over to other thoughts in your own mind. So th there is no single thing that you need to do. But what I observe myself is uh, being is that sometimes I'm a parent and then I have an identification and a job as a parent and sometimes uh, I am an agent of consciousness on earth and then from this perspective there's other stuff that is important. So this is my main issue with uh, Eliezer's perspective that he's basically marrying himself to a very narrow human aesthetic and that narrow human aesthetic is a temporary thing. Humanity is a temporary species, like most of the species on this planet are only around for a while, and then they get replaced by other species in a similar way as our own physical organism is around here for a while and then gets replaced by next generation of human beings that are adapted to changing life circumstances on average via mutation and selection. And it's only when we have AI and become completely software that we can become infinitely adaptable and we don't have this generational and species change anymore. So if you take this larger perspective and you realize it's really not about uh, us, it's not about Eliezer or humanity, but it's about life on Earth or it's about defeating um, uh, entropy for as long as we can uh, while being as interesting as we can, right? then... Um, the perspective changes dramatically and uh, AI, uh, preventing AI from this perspective looks like a very big sin. But when we look at the set of trajectories that such an AI would take that supersedes humans, uh, I think Eliezer is worried about like ones that not just kill all humans, but also have some kind of maybe objectively uh, undesirable consequence for life on Earth? Like how many trajectories, when you look at the big picture of life on Earth, would you be happy with and how much worry you with AGI, whether it kills humans or not? There is no single answer to this. It's really, it's a question that depends on the perspective that I'm taking at a given moment. Mm. And so there are perspectives that are uh, determining most of my life as a human being. Yes. And uh, the other perspective where I zoom out uh, further and imagine that when the great oxygenation event happened, that is photosynthesis was invented and plants emerged and displaced a lot of the fungi and algae in favor of plant life and then later made animals possible. Imagine that the fungi would have gotten together and said, oh my God, this photosynthesis stuff is really, really bad. Mm -hmm. It's going to possibly displace and kill a lot of fungi we should slow it down and regulate it and make sure that it doesn't happen. Uh, this doesn't look good to me. 